Hi, this is Brian Walter, and I'm going to Brand Lab at the end of this month, and I hope to see you there. But a fair question is, why exactly? I mean, sure, as president, I'm supposed to be an enthusiastic cheerleader for all NSA offerings, and I am, but I really, really value labs. Here's the context around that. As NSA president, one of the key responsibilities you have is to choose the lab. It's your job to identify a highly relevant topic that a more select group of attendees can focus on. It's not a conference or big convention. It's a hands-on, practical, tactical take on how to do a key part of our speaking business. And that's precisely why we chose for this year's lab to be Brand Lab. Now, as speakers, we sometimes are quite pleased with ourselves. But I don't know any speaker who brags about how perfect their brand is. Branding is the great humbler. The longer you're in the business, the more you realize how much more there is to know, that you need to know. Sure, branding covers easily discernible things like you know, visuals and identity, but it also covers squishier yet no less real things like reputation and expectation, perceptions, distinctiveness, style, language, consistency, and even appearance. Now sure, it's possible you could go search out and read about 15 different books or articles and watch a slew of self-help videos on most of these branding topics. But is that really going to move you to take some critical next steps with your speaker branding? No. What will move us to action is being with other speakers, listening and talking about what we are experiencing and getting feedback on our own brands from experts and peers and writing action items down in an actual brand action plan. That is what we promise is gonna happen at Brand Lab. And that is why I hope to see you there.